This skill builder is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose of the exercise is to test your instincts. When you play American Mahjong during the Charleston, sometimes there's a little voice in the back of your head saying you went the wrong way. We're going to do the Charleston two times with the same hand. We're going to pick one category and check the results. Then we're going to do it again, pick a different category and compare the results. The goal is to have four discards or fewer after the Charleston. To me, four discards would be an indicator of a successful Charleston. The first thing you want to do is decide if you want to be the dealer or non-dealer. If you want to be the dealer, you're going to deal yourself 14 random tiles. If you want to be non-dealer, you get 13. We're going to say we're the dealer, so we'll get 14 random tiles. This mimics our dealt hand. The next thing we're going to do is create a mock Charleston. So you want to get three tiles in a column six high. Right across left, left across right. Now there could be jokers in here. If there are, we'll just exchange them with the tiles out there. If you want to, you can pull a bunch of tiles together and remove the jokers, mix them up, and then build your Charleston from those tiles. For this exercise, we're just gonna go as is. The other thing that you want to do is have a smartphone or some kind of camera so that you can take photos of your drawn hand and the incoming passes because you're going to recreate it and compare results. Let's see what we have to work with. When I set up my tiles, I put them in this order. Joker, flower, wind, dragon, then my numbered suits in order. There are certain patterns that you can see when you set them up this way, at least to begin with. Once you pick your category, then you can rearrange them, but I think this is the best way to start out. The first thing I always look for is where are my multiples, because this is a game of multiples, pairs, pungs, kongs, and quints. We have a pair of north, and a pair of five. There's really only one category that can use a pair of Norse and a pair of fives besides a quint, and we only have one joker. So I wouldn't recommend doing a quint right now. We do have two fives though. We could play something with like numbers, and there is news with like numbers. Let's keep all these. If we're keeping wins, let's keep the dragons. And that gives us tiles to pass. Once you identify a pass, you really don't have to go any further. We've chosen either wins and dragons or like numbers. So what we're gonna do now is take photo of our starting hand. This way we can recreate it. We're going to pass these three. You're going to put it in front of you and take your incoming pass. Here we have right across left, left across right. So we're going to take our first one and we're going to take a photograph of that. In this case, I don't think it's going to be helpful. We're building around our multiples, the north and the five. Now there is a consecutive run with news under consecutive run, but that means we would have to pass like numbers. I don't like that idea. Is there a north and south hand with like numbers? There is. North and south with fives. Let's give up the seven and pass these three. Let's focus on like numbers and wins. We're gonna take a photo of that. 
we got a five. North and south with fives under winds and dragons. We do have tiles we can pass. If we're keeping winds though, maybe we should keep the east because we could play news with like numbers. Let's give up a dragon and pass these three. And we're gonna take a photo. We didn't get any keepers. Let's pass these three. Take a photo. We have a four, a six and a red. I keep thinking about the consecutive run news hand under consecutive run, four, five, with either a three or a six with news, but we have a gap. Here we have no gaps. We've got all the fives, pair north and a south for north and south with odds. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Build around the strength of your hand. Let's take a photo. We got a south and a flower. We have a seven that we don't need. We really don't need the white dragon. I prefer not to pass white dragons, but we have no gaps with north and south with fives. Or we could play like numbers with news and the flowers. Let's give up the east and risk passing the white dragon. Anytime you get a joker, you need to exchange it. So we're going to take a photo. We didn't get any keepers, so we can actually pass these three and get a full pass for optional cross. You're gonna take all these tiles that were in your Charleston, and you're gonna mix them up and take however many tiles you wanted in your optional cross. Because remember, you could pass blind. We don't need to here though. We're gonna get three back. We have no keepers, but we have three discards. We could play north and south with fives right here, or we could play news with fives under like numbers. I'd say that Charleston was a success. Now we're gonna reset and do it again and focus on consecutive run because I believe there were some consecutive run opportunities there. So I'm gonna use the photos that I took and start over. So I'll put my hand on top, turn over all the Charleston tiles, and recreate my hand. Okay, that's what we started out with. I'm thinking we could do consecutive run. So let's keep fives five, six, seven, or four, five, six with news. If we're keeping the wins, let's keep the dragons. But here we have like numbers. I would not pass like numbers, so we need to pick something. Let's give up a dragon. I'm now gonna create the Charleston based on the photos I took. So each incoming pass, since I took a photo, I can rebuild it. There's the Charleston exactly as it was, except for that joker we exchanged. So now we're gonna focus on consecutive run, maybe wins. Let's pass these three. 
here's an eight and a seven here's an eight five six seven eight let's give up the one and the five let's pass the white dragon oh that's really risky right there matching dragons and a one five together five seven Hmm. I think maybe let's keep the five for like number potential and give up the eight and the one, the white, one, eight, white. That's a little risky too because of the year category. Let's break, oh, either way we got to break that up. Let's pass the five. Let's pass these three. Pass safely. You've got to not only build your own hand, but you've got to pass defensively. Otherwise, you could be giving your opponents really good tiles. You don't want to do that. Okay, we got a five crack, potential like number. Here's an eight, nine, and an east. Maybe we could play consecutive run, five, six, seven with news. We need six bam here. Let's pass five, nine, white. There's an eight and we have tiles we can pass. So we don't need to focus in on one hand yet. There's a four. So we have either four, five or seven, eight. We can give up the north because we only need news, N-E-W-S. We got a south and a flower. South and flower. We have a seven. Let's give up the four, because if we get a six, we can use both the seven and the six. And let's give up the south, because we only need one of each of the wins for news. Let's pass these three. We have a four, six, nine. I was thinking maybe we could play five, seven, nine. I suppose I should have thought of that before, but I don't remember if there was a nine bam in there. Let's pass. I don't want to do that though, because look what we'd have to pass. Pass defensively. Let's pass these three. For optional cross so for optional cross you're gonna mix these up because these were all part of the Charleston and the optional cross usually has tiles that go around during the Charleston and take back whatever you give up we gave up three so we're gonna take three we got the north back <laughs> and we have four discards but we're in between we could maybe play big odds 579 or if we get the six bam we could play news with the consecutive run 567 that would be the last hand under consecutive run so we have four discards with a pair of flowers i'd like to use those flowers i think i'd almost rather give up all these wins look at that though seven discards my instincts were correct. That first choice, north and south with like numbers or wins or like numbers, was clearly the best choice for that set of tiles. The drawn hand plus the Charleston. So that initial choice was correct and that is the whole purpose of Charleston chain reaction. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and let me know how it goes for you. If you don't have a set of your own and you'd like to get one, there is one that I recommend and I, I put a link below the video for that. There are two options, soft case, hard case. And there's a little price difference, but they're both very nice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do 
That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next skill builder, may all your picks be keepers.